What's up guys, Dick Opinion here. We're playing more Splatoon, and um, I want to go over maps that I haven't really covered too much, and just talk about them. This is the skate park. I actually like this map a lot. It's pretty fun. I mean, I'm a skater in real life, so it's pretty cool. And then my tips on this, you know, I try to give tips on like all the levels, despite the fact that I'm just a roller. So <laughs> tips for rollers. Basically, I don't know. I try to, I used to just try to get all the beginning area, when I played the um, skate park, but now I try to like rush into it a little bit and kind of build it up and then I'll get the beginning area later on as time goes by because it's not what people are going to go after first. So usually when I die, I can kind of take control and take care of this beginning area, but as you see, it's pretty well, it's pretty well lit. The other people handle it. So my strategy, I try to avoid a lot of people just because it's easier to kind of sneak around the back like I'm doing right now. And then when you see someone, I'm kind of just trying to bail it because I don't see a point of really fighting in this game. The more you fight and the more you kill each other, the less points you get. But I will say at this point though, not in this video, but on where I am in Splatoon at this moment, I'm like level 20 and XP and money doesn't matter anymore. So it can be quite difficult. That thing's pretty cool right there. I haven't used it often, but this this roller I'm using isn't a Kraken one. I like, you know, wanted to use something a little bit different. You know, now I'm just all about the Kraken roller and just turning to the Kraken, but all in all, I love going into the area and just taking it over and you get shot and you kind of just bail from it. But I love the skate park. I actually wish that you could skate it. I know it's a weird thing, but it's okay. We have Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 coming out at the end of the year, and we're totally going to pick that up despite if we're getting blasted. It's all good though, it's all good. You can use your snipers and uh, we'll just keep going. Still got about a minute left. And this is what I mean, like around like this time is where I'd probably start actually cleaning up stuff on my side. And if no one else has got any particular spot, I'd probably get it then. So, trying to get hit by that wave. Like I like the wave stuff, I like the Kraken better. Like I don't care, just give me a Kraken and a roller, that's all I use. I think, uh, I think you get like this, this thing that'll let you teleport to that area with the Kraken and the roller, but I never use it. I wish we had bombs or something. This guy's trying to get a top hit on me. <laughs> it's okay, they're the ones in danger. They're the ones like freaking out right now trying to pull it through at the last 20 seconds, and they, they won't. We got this. Oh, I love the way the ink looks in Splatoon. It's so good. Oh man, I should probably die there. <laughs> The thing looks so good. Normally in the last 10, 20 seconds, I really try to not get killed. Almost died there. And I just try to like, if someone's trying to roll in our territory, like this guy, I try to like re-roll it. And then clean it all up. And uh, that's basically it. But I like the skate park a lot. And I haven't shown off the skate park too much. And I want to get all the uh, beginning maps on out of here. And then when all the new DLC stuff comes out, we'll fully cover it. We won that. And we'll have a lot more Splatoon to post here coming soon in Duck Opinion. So keep it locked. We'll have a lot more coming soon along with Cube Creator and all the upcoming AAA games for 2015. Talk to you guys later. Peace.